What's happening everyone, it's Craig here from Pure Dead Gaming and I'm here today to take a first impressions look at Trek to Yomi. This is the new game out May 5th, developed by Flying Wild Hog and published by Devolver Digital. Shout out to them for the early access to this game so that I could bring you this as the embargo lifts. Trek to Yomi looks like a stylish samurai movie almost playing out in a sort of 2 to 2.5D plane. We're going to check it out for the first time at the moment and see if we enjoy it. Uh, it's available for $15.99 on PlayStation and on Steam and it's also part of Xbox Game Pass. So the chances are if you have an Xbox you will have access to this at no extra cost. Okay, let's dive in and see what the game has to offer. Shinno-chou-a-o-tomotsu-mono-wa-ikunen-mono-saki-o-minuku-koto-ga-dekiru-to-yu-ga-sube-te-no-chou-a-o-midashi-mono-wa-issun-saki-o-mo-minuku-ko
Okay, so dojo. Ah. So Jess actually spoke a little bit about this on the podcast about walking towards the screen and the camera sort of panning out and it being a very unique view and I, I agree looking at this it's very very cool so you can move around freely so we're almost in like a a 2.5D as I explained earlier plane here I could suppose you could say 3D it's very cool lots of detail here No one seems concerned that the young boy has a sword. He does have it sheathed, but I'm not sure these people know that I'm liable to pop off at any time. But a loose cannon. I like a little bit of attention to detail like that. Like you can't go that way, but there is a scene. So it'll play out if you do. Okay. I should mention just when I'm saying about how much I enjoy the the Japanese spoken language in the game uh, that is in fact your only option by the way there's no uh, English dubbing if you would if that is something you would prefer although I don't know why you would to be honest because I feel like part of the experience of this game is that Japanese flair so I feel like you almost need to be all in as you go in if you get me. Okay. I'm really liking this sort of like switch with the camera. Like these camera angles are cool. Very nice. Oh, I've got a collectible. Cool. Yeah, very it's so artistic like it's it's really got a real artistic flair to it i would say so far just the way the camera moves like that from scene to scene everything feels very deliberate like all you're doing is walking through this area there's not much to do but it feels like every scene has had some thought put into it Yeah, just stuff falling from the, the ceiling here and stuff like that. It's great attention to detail. If only I had a few more. So we're picking up a fair few collectibles here. We've, I don't know if this is an order. We've perhaps missed the first one. There was maybe something to pick up in that area where I was too busy admiring the panning out view. That's perhaps the impression I get. So yeah, these shrines save your progress and fully restore your health, so... Oh, and they open doors! How about that? What will they think of next? I might build a shrine in my house, because I could definitely do 
with something that restores health and saves my progress because I'm liable to fuck everything up at any given opportunity. And so that would be pretty good. Big fan, I've been able to save life progress. Collectible. Yep, these are definitely not the I have. I've obviously missed one, like a fucking idiot. But I'm sure there'll be opportunities for mop up. So again, yeah, just going through this here. I mean, absolutely, fuck all has happened so far. But you're just almost in awe of how cool. Everything is like it's just so well designed, so well laid out. The graphics are gorgeous. I would say maybe the frame rate's not a solid 60. There's maybe it could just be slightly janky animation, or or maybe there is a little bit of a frame rate. That it's hard to tell. And playing on PlayStation 5 at the moment, I'm not really sensing, pardon the pun, anything with a dual sense so far. So here's another shrine. We're getting quite a few of these, which is promising, especially when we've not actually had any combat yet, although. I get the feeling that is coming. Mm. Trouble is afoot. Call these grown ass men running away. And here I am, we half pint. Just about to dive right into the action. Absolutely no shame on those lads. Oh mate, you're dead. You've not even got a name. You're just bandit. What fucking chance have you got with when they can't even give you a name? Very nice touch with the blood dripping off the sword. He does seem like he's got a little bit of a Lego head, doesn't he? Also not a promising sign that your master has just ran away like a total shite bag. The timing on the parry takes a wee bit of getting used to. Another wee shrine ideal. I don't need that pop up every single time there's a shrine though. Oh, look at this. Right, there's gonna be, clearly going to be a lot of little secret nooks and crannies in this game. Like, that's pretty nicely hidden. Cool, but I like that. Some more combat to go. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, the timing on the parry is is something. Oh shit! Is something I'm gonna have to work on. I can't put my finger on it. There's just something a little bit. 
I got it that time. But yeah, maybe just something, just a touch off. So it's another wee secret bit, no. Oh, there's something sparkling there. Health upgrades permanently increase your max health. Okay, I don't know quite what that was. All I could see was a sparkle, but I'll take it. And I'll take the shrine. There definitely seems to be a lot of shrines. That kind of worries me that in the harder difficulties, they might... Yeah. Oh, in the harder difficulties, they might just sack off the shrines. Because that would be something that would make it very difficult. There's a fourth difficulty that you can unlock. And it would not shock me if the shrines were just shut in that mode. Just to make it really fucking difficult. This guy doesn't even have a name either. You've no chance, mate. You need to get yourself a name and some better patter. Rotation attack. Alright. Not bad. Code for you're about to get attacked from both sides, I guess. Is this guy about to jump on me? No. Oh, that's a shrine. I feel like I'm constantly on the lookout for like little sneaky bits. <laughs> Interacting with civilians may bring rewards. Okay. Select a shuriken by pressing right on the D-pad and R2 for a ranged attack. They can be thrown at enemies. If you had a fucking shuriken, why didn't you help me out? I'm a 12-year-old boy. I don't think these people understand. But for such a young man, I've had to put this town on my back. Combat's fun. This is this is pretty fun combat, I would say. It definitely seems to take a back seat in to in terms of the visuals, like oh sorry, a back seat to the visuals, like they are the main event here. Like they are the what is gonna pull people into this game, but the combat seems fun. And from what I understand, over time it does develop. Like you, you obtain new moves, you obtain. You obviously get better at the blocking. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's shit like this. Like, I don't know. So to go from here with just the incredible backgrounds, like, look at that backdrop there. To go from there to then drop straight into this angle here as you come in see the destruction like 
I am not one of these people that watches like a film and necessarily takes a lot from the art direction, but it's impossible not to see how impressive this is. <laughs> What is this? Alright. This could be sneaky. <laughs> nice. So potentially a little bit of stealth, maybe. I was thinking there wouldn't be anything along the lines of stealth in this, but that certainly makes it seem like there might be, even a little bit. Happy with that. And the shrines continue to be plentiful. getting the hang of the secret areas, keep an eye out for them. You may find some collectibles. It's a bit late, I've been I've been doing that quite successfully so far. Permanent upgrade to my stamina. See, that's super cool as well. That transition, like, it's so simple just to move the camera up, but I just, I love that. It's so well done. So she had throwable weapons as well. You're in the corner. All we're asking you to do is to chip in and chuck something. My god. What is it with this village? Why will they not put a shift in? Why is it left up to me? A young whippersnapper. Watch him. How the fuck have I nearly lost all my health? Straight after getting that, uh, that shrine. Did one of those guys have quite a hard shot? Did, he, did one of those guys have a name? Was he a named fighter? Maybe that was the issue. one there. Search the outskirts. Again, just, just looks so good. I feel like I'm supposed to go that way, so I want to go this way. And it has paid off. I don't know what you're laughing for, mate. I've killed all your pals. There's no 
laughing now, is he? Another stamina increase and another collectible. So we've missed two collectibles in this chapter? Level? Chapter? Don't know. We've missed two, but it looks like that was the last one. All these Cretan faced bastards have got weapons and they just refuse to use them. They're just fucking waiting for somebody else to do their bidding. Sensei doing his thing. Oh no. Now we guys were in a nappy. This guy's got a name that doesn't bode well. This guy's got a kick that can break my defences. Disaster. Am I quite close? Ah, oh, I'm good. Oh, I've got, I've got those shurikens, don't I? I wonder if I can throw them at him. I'd fucking teach him, wouldn't it? Let's try that out. Oh. On the head too. That, you dick. I'm not sure I caught him in the face right enough. It's Real Madrid level acting that. Oh! The big guns came to save me. You have to imagine that Sensei isn't a bit of bother here. Not feeling good about Sensei's chances. Oh. No, no, he's done it. The old boy's done it. Oh no, they both struck each other. It's a photo finish. Look at this, now even the old boy's chucked it. And he's putting it all on me. I'm like a fucking one man army here. It's a 
a sad state of affairs. He's just got a better outfit now. He's upgraded that at least. Nice, nice intro. That was a cool sort of opening chapter prologue. Really enjoyed that. やつ我が村の定めも同じ。神川村の方たちにすぐに知らせ、我が村へ迎え入れましょう。やつらは鬼じゃ。出雲そうだよ。何者にやられたのです。教えてください。モーゼの目をした者たちが出雲からか急に現れ、奴らの大将はただただ見届けておった。奴らが、わしは神川村の者だ。何人から林の中に逃げ